Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, very welcome. My name is Yava and in today's session we will take super super slow. So if you're feeling low in energy, stressed or anxious, I really hope that this session will give you space and some calm to come back to yourself, to come back to your body and to come back to the breath. So for this session, you will only need yourself, something soft beneath you. If you have a yoga block, welcome to grab that, but not a problem if you don't. And you could also grab some pillows and also a blanket to put it underneath. So it's very cozy, soft where you are. So yeah, you can pause this video and once you have everything ready, come back to it and let's get started in a laying on our backs position. So I will put the blanket on top of the yoga mat so it's nice and cozy and then the pillows somewhere that we can use them uh, soon. And then laying on your backs, you can put the soles of your feet together and open the knees wide. If this is not comfortable for your back, you could put the knees together and then feet wide apart. This might feel quite nice for your lower back or perhaps you'd like to extend your legs. So choose whichever position feels best. And then put your hands on top of your belly. And for some moments, we will focus on the belly and ribs expanding on the inhalation, and then belly and ribs softening on the exhalation. So very calm breaths. And throughout the whole practice, Remind yourself to breathe through the nose. So calm, gentle inhalations through the nose. You can put your hands on your belly, on your lower ribs, so to feel this inhalation. And whenever you're ready, start to bring your attention to this rising and falling sensation. That the breath creates So breathing through the nose, feeling the belly rising, you can also explore any other sensations the breath creates, so perhaps the temperature and comparing the temperature between the inhalations and exhalations. So there is no right or wrong, just observing, silently observing ourselves. Observing the breath. taking this time to really let our nervous system know that we are safe in the moment. Let's do a few more cycles of breath. So inhaling through the nose, belly, ribs expand. And exhaling. Let's do one more time all together. Inhale through the nose. And exhale. Now put uh, your knees together if you had your knees wide. And then let's extend the left leg up towards the sky. Point your left foot and then flex it several times. Try to keep the left leg straight, point and flex, point and flex. And again, really with this curiosity, exploring how the subtle movement, how the small movement feels in the, in the left leg. Is there any difference when you flex and when you point your foot?
Now let's start to make circles with your left foot. So as if you want to draw a big, big zero, as biggest as is comfortable for you with your left foot, with your left toes. To one direction and then other direction. So same foot, same leg, just warping the directions. Take a breath in, breath out, and then let's meet into the ha half happy baby. So your left knee goes towards your um, left armpit or even more outside. You can grab your ankle 90 degrees in your left leg or if it's comfortable maybe the outside of your left foot. But check that your tailbone is still down on the ground and with your right leg, so other leg, it can do whatever it's comfortable. So maybe it's still bent or perhaps you prefer to have it extended. For me it's quite comfortable to have it bent and to open my knee slightly to the right. This feels very nice. But again, we are all different and then I invite you to find your own sweet spot. Let's stay here for several breaths. So again, continuing to breathe through the belly. Belly expands. Let's do two more cycles of breath. And then let's put your left ankle on top of your right thigh and then open up your left knee away from the body. Flex your left foot, stay here or if you'd like extra, extra stretch, then bring your right um, thigh towards your body and you can interlace the fingers behind your right thigh or if it's comfortable maybe behind your right shin. So again finding your sweet spot. So we never want to feel any pain when we are doing the practice. Slight discomfort is okay. There will always be some discomfort but we don't want any any pain. Check your breath, feel the inhalations. So it's absolutely fine and so normal when the mind starts to wander. But I like to play this game to catch myself when I start to think about something else. And then to bring my attention back to the breath, back to the sensations in the body, back to this moment. Let's stay here for two more cycles of breath. And then we will swap sides. So lower your left foot down, extend your right leg up towards the sky, right leg is straight. And then point your right foot and flex it. Point and flex. Once again, exploring any subtle sensations this movement creates in your legs, perhaps in your calf. So there is no right or wrong sensation. While we flex and point the foot, let's continue to breathe through the nose. So our nervous system really enjoys when we breathe through the nose with calm breaths. 
So this way we can let our nervous system know that we are safe in this moment. And now start to make circles with your right foot to one direction. Again, as if you want to draw a big zero with your toes. Very controlled rotations. Swap sides to the other direction, same foot, same leg. Let's do two big circles. And then let's meet in a half happy baby. So your right leg is bent in 90 degrees. Maybe you catch your outside of your um, foot or your ankle or maybe your shin. And we try to relax the spine and then the tailbone is still touching the ground. And again, same as with the other side, you decide what you want to do with your other leg. So for me, this side is again quite comfortable to open my knee slightly to the side and keep my leg bent. Let's stay here for two more cycles of breath. And then put your right ankle on top of your left thigh. Open your right knee away from the body and stay here. Flex your foot or if you'd like, maybe bring your left leg towards your upper body, interlace the fingers behind your left thigh or behind your left chin. Again, finding a sweet spot for you. One side might be different. So for one side, you might feel that, oh, I'd like to go slightly deeper. For the other side, you might want to go less. Again, that's perfectly normal. Continuing to breathe through the nose, gentle, calm inhalations. Now let's stay here for two more cycles of breath. So taking it very slow, giving this space and time to pause, to rest our mind from any distractions. And then gently let go and open your feet as wide as your mat and uh, your legs are bent and then drop both of the knees to one side. Maybe the hip lifts slightly and then to the other side. To one side and to the other. A few times like that. Exploring the sensation in the legs, in the hips the spine perhaps. 
and whenever your knees are to your left side, drop them there and then come onto the left side of the body, help yourself with the hand and let's lift ourselves up into a seated position for a moment. Let's do some side bends to one side, really lengthening the body. Take a breath over here. Exhale, other side. And one more breath, inhale. Exhale. And now let's meet in a tabletop position. So you can have your knees as wide as your hips. You can have the pillows underneath your belly or underneath your chest. We will meet in the melting heart or uh, puppy pose. Extend your arms in front of you. And then imagine that you want to open up your armpits. So almost like stretching the armpits. Maybe lower the forehead down on the ground. And then few options with your arms. Maybe you just have them here extended. Or if you'd like, you can bend your elbows and your thumb wants to go toward your lower neck. This will intensify the stretch in your, in your triceps. So find a sweet spot, whichever feels nice. So over here we are passively staying in a position but if you know that you are very flexible and you would like to change things up you could also have it more engaged so you to have it more active then you press the forearms down into the ground and this way you can engage muscles in your arms And also, if you know that you are very flexible in this area, um, of course, you don't have to go 100%. So choose maybe 70 or 60%. And of course, same for all of us. Um, we don't need to go the deepest, deepest range that we can. But as I mentioned several times already, finding the sweet spot for you. Where is the sweet spot? How little or how deep should you go to find this, this spot? Let's stay here for two more cycles of breath. Inhale. Exhale. One more. If you had your arms bent, extend your arms. Help yourself super slowly to lift yourself back into a tabletop position. And now we will go into the lizard. So for the lizard position, you could have a pillow underneath one of your knees. So the right knee, let's stay the right knee back. And then the left leg goes into the front. And over here, you could have a block for extra height and to stay like this or a block could also be used uh, to lower your head down so lower your forehead on top of the block so again make yourself more or less comfortable finding a position and wherever you are you can Soften your gaze or close your eyes. And let's stay here for a few moments in stillness. While we continue to breathe through the nose. Let's stay here for two more cycles of breath. A 
And then slowly coming out of the position, bring your left knee back, put it on top of the pillow, and then your right foot goes into the front, to the right side of your mat. And once again, find a comfortable position, find a sweet spot. And let's stay in that position in stillness while we continue to breathe. Let's stay here for two more cycles of breath. And then slowly coming out of the position, bring your right knee underneath your right hip and let's sit in a kneeling position or in any other comfortable position for you. And then extend your arms back behind you. Interlace your fingers, shoulder blades together. And over here, let's add some movement with your head. So maybe making very gentle half circles. So gently drop one ear towards one shoulder, lowering the chin down and then to the other side. So feeling that symbolically there is a lot of space for our chest, for our lungs to breathe in oxygen. Sitting tall and confident. When your chin is toward your chest, let's stay there for a moment and bring your chin back up and let's do some spine twists, perhaps helping yourself with the hands to one direction, to the other direction. Come back into the center and then let's Meet back on our backs and uh, let's spend, let's take some time in Shavasana, so in our relaxation position, just a few moments, but make yourself comfortable and cozy. Again, you could have um, the soles of your feet together, knees wide apart and finish the way we started. So having your hands on top of the belly, on top of your lower ribs and feeling how we are inhaling. Belly rises, exhaling, softening. Eyes are closed or gaze is soft.
Take an inhalation once again through the nose. Exhale. Then put your hands or your fingertips on your temples and massage your temples in a circular motion. Massaging your temples. And then massage your forehead as well. So pressing gently or slightly stronger with your fingertips. Massaging your eyebrows. And then doing my favorite, favorite rain massage. So gently tapping your head with your fingertips. And trying to cover every part of your head that you can reach while you are laying on the ground. Take a breath in and out. And then gently shake your hands and then stretch your fingers, your arms, back behind you and extend your legs, point your feet as if you're just woken up and hug your knees towards your chest and feeling how you're hugging a dear friend. So hugging yourself, rolling to the left and to the right. And then meeting on your side for a moment and then helping yourself with the hand in a slow, slow motion. Try not to hurry immediately after you did this practice. Okay, so we are finished with today's session. I really hope the session brought you some calm and some space. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you very soon for another YouTube yoga and movement session here on my channel. So consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and check out my other YouTube videos to choose the next video for you for next time. So sending a big hug and see you next time.